Hey watchers, thank you for watching Black People Watch. This is your girl Big Ish, and I'm back with another review. Now, this week would typically be a funny Friday, but I got something a little different going on. I was watching over the weekend and all last week, Cobra Kai on Netflix. Okay, so when I saw the name Cobra Kai, I didn't relate it to the original Karate Kid. I just saw the name Cobra Kai and I was like, ah, oh, there's some kind of karate stuff. I wasn't really interested. Then I kept seeing it was number one in the country. Netflix kept saying Cobra Kai, number one, Cobra Kai, number one. And every time I would turn on Netflix, it would be at the number one spot. And I was like, let me check this Cobra Kai stuff out. And if it's, you know, one of those you know, over talking voices with the funny mouth going on, then, you know, it's not my thing and I'll turn it off. So I go to look and check and here Cobra Kai is related to the original Karate Kid from 1984, which I loved. Okay. So I'm like, wow, I see Johnny Lawrence. And it opens up and he's a, like a raging alcoholic and he's, you know, a handyman and he's kind of down on his luck a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. He's down on his luck a lot and he sees constant commercials of Danny LaRusso, his rival from the karate tournaments back in 1984. I'm already drawn in. I'm like, hey, I'm front and center. Let me grab my popcorn. So he's just like Johnny Lawrence is really having a go of it. I mean, just everything is falling apart in his life. You see that he has a son that he's really not connected to. He's just drinking. And the whole series has got to be sponsored by Coors because Coors is everywhere. And all Johnny Lawrence drinks is Coors. And he goes into a mini mart. And this kid comes in and his name is Miguel. And he ends up getting jumped by some guy. At first, Johnny wasn't going to get in it. But, you know, these kids are really kicking Miguel's butt and he feels bad for him and he ends up getting involved. He starts doing some of his old karate moves on these kids and these kids are not letting up because he's an old man and he's not letting up because they're little kids. OK, it's on and popping and he's giving them everything that he got. Miguel is very impressed by this. He sees it. Man, I've been a loser all my life. Show me how to do what you do. And Johnny Lawrence is like, you know, I'm not really not teaching karate. Miguel convinces him to show him karate. And once he starts getting inspired, he starts getting inspired to open up his dojo again. And so he says, listen, I'm going to name it Cobra Kai from the 1984 dojo that he was at when he was younger. And so right across the street from Danny LaRusso, who, mind you, is very successful in his own car dealership. He has a wife, he has a couple kids, and he's a successful car dealer. And for some reason, and I'll let you watch the series, uh, Johnny has to go into LaRusso's uh, car dealership and he kind of rubs it in his face that he kicked his butt back in 1984 at the tournament of old. And, you know, rubbing it in his face that, you know, he's successful now. Johnny takes it pretty well, I would say. But again, he's an alcoholic and stuff kind of rolls off his back. But he's a little hurt by the outcome of his life compared to Danny LaRusso. They rehatch this rival between the two of them. Needless to say, it's on and popping. Danny opens up his own dojo, which is to honor Mr. Miyagi, and he names it Miyagi-Do. And so it's supposed to be the opposite of Cobra Kai. It's supposed to be peaceful. It's supposed to be, you know, patience, teach patience. And, you know, Johnny Lawrence, he's still doing the same old thing in regards to, you know, their motto at Cobra Kai was strike first, strike hard, no mercy. And it takes this kid, Miguel, to kind of teach Johnny that things aren't like that anymore and you can't be that way. And then Johnny starts to learn that 
this was the old way and I have to try something new if I'm gonna be successful. And he does, he tries something new, he tries to be better. But it's a little too late because he trained these kids now to fight aggressively and to be aggressive. And I love the evolution of the kids in this show. I don't know if they're really kids or not, but I mean, and there's a lot of holes in the script. Like me and my husband, we were like, how did these kids become just like master uh, martial artists over one summer? All they do is spend their time at the dojo and they are like great now. Um, so of course there are also issues that could have been easily resolved that don't get resolved, you know, but they need a storyline. They need stuff going on uh, to keep the story going. Hey, no problem here. Because if everything got resolved, we wouldn't have a story. I get it. But it was just great to see these kids evolve. Some of them were really like, had no friends. They were kind of different. And then they evolved and had all this confidence. Almost the entire original cast is back at Cobra Kai, excluding Mr. Miyagi, who is deceased in real life. So that was great to see. Almost everybody is back. Even um, Johnny Lawrence's friends from when he was younger and from the movie, they all come back. It's two seasons. It's really, really, really good. I totally enjoyed it. I wouldn't watch it with the kids because there is a lot of language. Not any sex or anything like that but there is a lot of language and i guess that's how teenagers talk i mean i was like shocked like these kids really have foul mouths but i guess that's what teenagers do i mean i was a teenager and i guess we all talk like that so you know these kids definitely um had some language on them the fight scenes were so good the fight scenes were incredible on this and I was happy to see that it was a lot of action and it didn't seem like people were waiting to to you know make a move or anything like that it seemed very organic it seemed very natural I was telling my husband last night in the second season the last episode there was this huge fight scene I mean it was a monster it was great it was a monster fight scene it was it was long too. It wasn't short. It was a big, long fight scene. And I seen one of the kids laughing while he was getting thrown up against a locker or something like that. But that was good. And it was kind of realistic because these kids are at a martial arts level. So they're fighting in the school and you know, security comes out and they see them doing all kind of kicks and flips and back turn and they like I don't get paid enough for this the teachers like I'm not getting involved in this call 911 and I said that's the same thing I would say because if I came out and saw that honey I am not getting in the middle of that it was hilarious so it's not really it's a funny movie because Johnny Lawrence is to me is hilarious he's naturally funny just his rudeness and how rude he is is hilarious no filter he says what's ever on his mind of again he's an alcoholic so that aids in him being just unfiltered and it was a lot of fun to watch I really enjoyed it it was a good summer show I suggest you watch it not so much with the little ones, but your older ones, y'all can definitely watch it. I was glued to the TV. I was stuck and watched it every night. Uh, I had to ask my husband, is it okay? Like, are you sick of watching this? Because I will binge watch a series with no problem. My husband, on the other hand, is not a binge watcher. You know, he'll get tired of something after a while. So I have to be mindful that binge watching series is not his thing. But he binge watched this with me. He did have to tell me to turn it off once or twice. But for the most part, he sat and watched every episode with me. And that says something. It grabbed his attention and gets lost very quick. He's, he's over it after a while. And he was with this 100%. We were getting mad at the characters together. And, you know, just kind of like talking about certain things that could have been resolved easily that just weren't and but you know we laughed about it but Johnny Lawrence's I don't know he's what he's been doing um the guy that plays Johnny Lawrence 
in Cobra Kai, he's terrific. I really believed him as an alcoholic. His eyes were red. He really um, would have benders. But he was hilarious with just the way he talked and interacted with these kids. And like, he just didn't know he could fight kids. And he didn't, you know, it was just... It was something to say. And the, another thing that makes it funny is because you know there are people out there that are like this, just unfiltered, crazy, say whatever's on their mind. And they're the people that make you laugh and cringe too at the same time. But it was great. William Zabka plays Johnny Lawrence. Great actor great actor you did the darn thing you really you did a good job in this kudos to you good job to you Danny LaRusso you're still good you're still a good actor still believable all the young actors in this were just amazing I really thoroughly enjoyed it I can't wait for season three there is definitely a awesome cliffhanger at the end of season two that you are going to love again like that huge fight scene at the end in the school was amazing it was everything I got my total life on that fight I think I watched it twice I watched that fight twice loved it cliffhanger can't wait for season three Thank you for watching Black People Watch. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.